Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very beautiful game which I would rather call this the best game so far I saw in 2020. With the white piece is playing Dutch chess grandmaster Erwin Laumi and his opponent is young and talented Australian chess grandmaster Anton Smirnov. The game was played in round 1 at 2020 Tata Steel Challengers. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. Back to our main board where, as I've already mentioned, Leami had white pieces and he opened up with d4. Smirnov responded with d5, c4, c6. We have the Slav defense. Knight f3, knight f6, e3, bishop g4. Other popular alternatives are bishop f5 for e6, but in our game black is deciding to pin white knight. Queen b3, in return, white is using the absence of black's light squared bishop, is targeting the pawn on b7, and black is neutralizing it by offering the exchange of queens. Knight e5, bishop f5, c takes d5, queen takes b3. So white is allowing black to damage his pawn structure. Black managed to double up white pawns on the b file, but in return, white managed to open up the a file for the rook. Knight takes d5, bishop d3, now the bishop on f5 is very active, white is neutralizing it. Later knight b4 could become a huge problem, that's why white is neutralizing that light squared bishop as soon as possible. We see the exchange of bishops on d3, knight a6, bishop d2 preventing any possible knight b4 jumps. e6, king e2, well white king is in safety, nothing wrong. The queens are exchanged and this is what you should do. You should leave your king as near to the center as possible. Knight a3, black castled kingside, knight c4 and c5. And it was in here that Erwin Lamy delivered the first exchange sacrifice and he went for rook takes a6. A beautiful rook sacrifice, right guys? Uh, of course, capturing on c5 is not good. This is allowing black knight to get activated. That's why instead we have a nice exchange sacrifice. Rook takes a6. As Lamy called this move after the game during the post-game interview, this is a risk-free sacrifice, unlike the second exchange sacrifice, which we are going to see in this game as well. So... Uh, by sacrificing the rook, white is removing the defender and is winning the pawn on c5, thus getting a passed pawn on the c file. Rook c8, b4, f6, e4, kicking away this knight from the central square. And then we have bishop c3, knight b5, rook a1, targeting the pawn on a6, rook c6, e5, bishop d8. Of course, black will never capture on e5. This will allow white to activate his knights. Yeah, white is also managing to open up the bishop's diagonal. And all this looks very scary. Although with bishop f6, black could neutralize the dark squared bishop. But black is also getting a weakness on e6. So that's not a good idea to capture on e5 with bishop d8. And meanwhile, white is putting his knight on this beautiful square, knight d6. Rook b8, f4, h5, g3, knight c7, king e3. Well, white is bringing his king on d4, but instead it was better to put the knight on d4. Playing knight d1 with the idea of knight f3, knight d4 is of course better, but in our game we have king e3, f5, bishop d2, king f8, king d4, g6, knight e1, and we have knight b5 check. By playing knight b5 check, black is allowing white to win a pawn. After the exchange of knights, we have rook takes a7, but in return, now black will try to gain some counterplay. Rook c8, knight c2, rook a8, rook d7, bishop e7, King e3, freeing the d4 square for the knight. The knight belongs to d4, after which black played king e8. And 
the second exchange sacrifice in our game this time we have rook d6 look at this guys this is simply magnificent man i really love this position the second exchange sacrifice is on the board and white is targeting the pawn on e6 but let's see what will happen once black accepts the second rook sacrifice as well we have bishop takes d6 well if not bishop d6 then what else can black do for example if king f7 then knight d4 will follow yeah, sooner or later you are forced to accept the exchange sacrifice and that's why we have bishop takes d6 straight away as Lamy said after the game i couldn't resist going for the second exchange sacrifice and this is something which looks very tempting right we can understand this king d7 knight d4 coming after the pawn on b5 but black decided to give it up and in return oops played rook a2 sorry rook a2 is on the board otherwise if a move like rook b8 if you try to save it then knight f3 is coming followed by knight e5 check i don't know c6 can follow but that's why we have rook a2 here first white defended the pawn on b2 and only then won the pawn on b5 rook h1 meanwhile white is trying to create a counterplay on the king side but white's defense is solid rook d1 knight d4 rook a8 king e2 rook g1 and there it goes already it's high time to make use of the past pawns black is winning this pawn but of course white is faster bishop b4 no c6 is coming rook g2 check king d3 rook takes b2 and there we have it c6 check king c8 and after knight takes e6 we have a resignation right now white wants to play d7 check followed by d8 queen and if move like rook a7 in hope of meeting d7 check with rook takes d7 then of course white is not forced to go for d7 white can go for b6 we have a very mighty pawn storm right let's call this a pawn storm if rook f7 then b7 check and then d7 yeah it's over that's why finally after knight takes e6 once black lost the pawn on e6 finally we have a resignation this is a dear chess lovers i find this game really very interesting and destructive two bold exchange sacrifices followed and white showed his brilliancy in the end game by relying on the powerful pawn center and this active tricky knight white managed to beat his opponent Pawns are the soul of chess, right? In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find mate in three. It's black to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care and good luck.